M Pavilion was a really, it was a wonderful commission, a wonderful privilege and an honour to be selected to design the second M Pavilion. And for me, the what was so important was to try and root this pavilion in place. And it, it wasn't that difficult because the place is so wonderful. The context that we're in, the incredible lushness of Victoria um, Park Gardens, and the setting and its significance in the city as a location right next to the National Gallery and with the city of Melbourne behind. The tree canopy is a natural place for people to gather. It's a natural place for people to sit in when they want shade. It's a natural place to retreat to when it rains. It's a natural place to have a picnic and to have an assignation. So how then could we create the, the feeling, the, the experience, the sensation of a tree canopy, but in a completely um, abstract way with man-made materials. And so that was the challenge that, that we set ourselves. And we wanted also to design a structure that responded to the climate, that sways gently in the wind, that rather than keeps it at bay, that when it rains, that that becomes at the edges part of the event. We were very fortunate early on um, working with Arup in, in Melbourne to be introduced to Moldcam, who are composites specialists who started in the marine industry. And we had a really wonderful collaboration with them. It's very rare for, as an architect, to find a fabricator who is as committed to experiment and to push boundaries and to not be afraid of failure in order to achieve something. And together with them and, and with Arup, we developed this series of, of petals that are translucent, that let light in, but also create shade. So they're incredibly slender. They span up between three and five meters, and they're only three millimeters thick. And in order to achieve that strength and that kind of delicacy of the um, material, we wanted it to be translucent, but it needed then to be reinforced uh, with carbon fiber. So we um, developed a, a pattern of carbon fiber strands that are sandwiched between two sheets of translucent resin. And then, of course, the petals are, have a, a, a rib, a carbon fiber rib, um, which allows them to overlap and interlock with the carbon fiber columns. The columns themselves are very slender and they are between four and five meters high. And inside the columns are all the electrics for the LED lights and the speakers which are, turn the, the petals into amplifiers for ambient noise are concealed within these columns. And it's the slenderness of these columns and the engineering that allows the, the structure to, to move very gently in the wind.